Aloha, welcome to my channel, Beloved J here for another read for you soulmates, love mates, and my counterparts, sacred unions, twin flame connections. We're here to talk about that person that's in your heart, mind, and soul, and we're doing zodiac reads today. So I'm going to do the zodiac signs of the fire sign. So we're going to go with the fire elements today, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So we're going to get into the energies of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we're going to find out what is going on for the collective for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with the connection for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel, Beloved Jay here. I don't know if I already said that. <laughs> for those of you who are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if this reading resonates with you. You can find me on Instagram. I am Beloved J at Shakti Shiva Taro. So it is an old tag, an old handle of mine, but I've kept it up because I have a channel out there that is still called that. <laughs> Anyway, so Shakti Shiva Tarot on Instagram, my beloved Jay. For those of you who are returning to my channel, as always, thank you for your love and support. Take what resonates, leave what does not. You can flip flop the energies. If I say he or she, I'm simply talking about masculine and feminine energies. Okay. So this is for Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, I feel like someone is about to come out of a stalemate. Someone has been in limbo. They've been indecisive. They're about to make a choice. I feel like they have been hung up on toxic behaviors, toxic thinking, uh, addictions, substance abuse. Um, it could be, you know, just this is very toxic energy. The devil is just somebody who, you know, it, it, it's because it's right, it's followed by the five of cups and then we have the three of swords here. So I'm seeing a situation here where somebody was acting in some pretty toxic behaviors and they regret it. They regret being reckless with your heart. Um, they clearly hurt your feelings. They cause a lot of sorrow, grief, and sadness. They hurt you. This is somebody who like stabbed you in the heart, you know, could have stabbed you in the back. They could have just treated you very unfairly in love and they know they did this is somebody who was reckless with your heart you know like when you say someone stole your heart like this thief stole your heart and was reckless with it they they, they did this to it <laughs> instead of like planting seeds and flowers and like you know keeping it safe and cozy they did this to it they said bones and pointy things and caged it up with these chains and um this is somebody who is regretting those actions that they took they they are regretting being reckless this is somebody in deep emotion right now and regret and remorse feeling lost they feel lost without you they i feel like this person doesn't even know why they did this to you because this is somebody who loves you. This is somebody who has, who cares for you, who sees, who like, you know, it, maybe not, I don't see any like huge grand gesture of love, like there's no king or queen out here, but this is somebody who does have love for you, even if they're, they can only say, I like you, you know? Um, they see you as the empress. They see you as 
the one. This is somebody who sees you as the one. You have it all. You have everything that they want. Yet, they did this to you and they regret it. They know that it was because they were in these toxic behaviors. So I feel like this person disconnected from the connection or maybe you, you know, cut them out. You, somebody walked away from the connection here. I don't know whether it was you or them, but, um, so they've, they've been, they're, they've been in this like limbo stage. They've, there's been this stalemate. Um, but I feel like this person is about to come in and clear the air. This is somebody who is ready to sound, who just, who's ready to speak their truth. Okay, we're going to find out more. Uh, I want to... I want to know more about your person and what's going on with them. Oh my gosh. I'm, okay, hold on a second. Let me... All right, tell me more about Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person. So fire signs, let's find out more about their person. What is going on with them? I'm going to pull Oracle for each of you and then we'll do clarification with the tarot. So... Queen, light attributes, radiates the regal feminine, uses her benevolent authority to protect others. God, light attributes, benevolence and compassion, recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others. I love that. I love to see you both in the positive light attributes. Um, child magical shadow attributes pessimism depression and disbelief in miracles believing that energy and action are not required for growth fearlessly revealing emotion helping people laugh at absurdity and hypocrisy I feel like you taught this person to you're you've taught this person benevolence you've taught this person compassion you've taught this person a belief that everything is possible like you are this like little fairy magical like they see you as this like they see you as a queen um radiates the regal feminine uses her benevolent authority to protect others i feel like this person wants to protect you because they see you as the queen but i do feel like there's something also about this person that um I don't know if you may be um, there it's just like two highly intelligent and spiritual beings okay maybe one is a little bit more spiritual one is a little bit more uh, physical right um, like more material world more spiritual world and you know kings and queens can lose themselves and these pleasures and desires and the luxuries of life, right? And not saying, so it does say, like, for the shadow side, it becomes arrogant when authority is challenged, controlling, and demanding. Like, your person could possibly tend to be that way when they're intoxicated, right? But they, <clears throat> when they're standing in their true authentic light, they radiate this regal feminine or masculine energy. Um and they're very protective in their energy. And so I feel like, you know, 
when they're in their light attributes, you, you feel safe with them. When they're in their shadow attributes, you do not feel safe with this person because this person is pessimistic, they're, they tend towards depression, they tend towards disbelief in miracles, and you're like the complete opposite of that. Like you are this person who believes in energy and believes in uh, karma and believes in miracles and believes in love and compassion and, ben and benevolence, and you want to go around, you know, helping others like emotionally grow and laugh and all these things okay too many all right so tell me more about this person i feel like this person wants their you know the the page of cups comes with an apology this is this person tapping into their emotions feeling the remorse feeling the loss and potentially wanting to like communicate how they feel and maybe give some form of an apology all right so tell me more about this person wombat spirit be at home but it's in the reverse which is the protection message let's get one for you Just one, okay, vulture. Nothing is wasted, love that. Let's get one for your person. Be at home, Wombat. I feel like they're not feeling at home in their skin. They're not feeling, you know, as long as they're intoxicated and um, this very dense energy having just this toxic energy they're not going to feel at home in their skin um they're going to tend towards depression they're going to tend towards pessimism and i feel like you are that person like i said that brought them a sense of of belief you you probably believe in miracles and you <laughs> yeah you were just like the, the light in this person, you know, like a little fairy angel that believes in all this positive stuff for, and like you help them believe in that. Like you were the light in their darkness. <clears throat> Moving on. What can I, what can you tell me about Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person? Where are, what's the card for them? Descendant invitation. All right, what's the card for you? For Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's the card for them? The sun, source. I feel like this person is about to offer you an invitation. They want to invite you to something. And maybe it's just to to talk, to go to the park, to have coffee, to I don't know, just they I feel like this person just I'm feeling they want to go outside, like to a park or something. They like the beach, the mountains, the springs. Um, they're going to invite you somewhere. And when they have this connection, I feel like there's going to be something, some kind of truth revealed. This is when they're going to tell you a little bit about how they're feeling. All right. Tell me more about this person. What can you tell me about this person? So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, thank you, Spirit, for the messages so far. What is this person? Where is this person? Sagittarius, look at that. Okay, so I'm going to put this for you because it flung over here. So maybe you're the Sagittarius. It's a Sagittarius I see. What about their person? Aries, Leo, Sag, fire, fire signs. Give me a card for their person. Just one. 
All right. Tenth house. So maybe your person can be a Capricorn or have Capricorn in their chart somewhere. Tenth house. Tenth house is the world. So the world is about destiny, something that's destined, something that is going to be expansive. It's going to help grow. And, you know, Sag Sagittarius is also about expansion, travel. So maybe there's travel and adventures about to come to fruition for you guys. All right. Tell me more. You are not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. Your person may be feeling alone, especially if they're feeling a little depressed right now over, you know, how they treated you, you know, when people tend to do, um, like, let's say, like, drink a lot or do drugs. When they are not doing them, they tend to come down and have, like, these depressive uh, stages where they're just feeling really low and down. Um, so, you know... This is where this person can be right now. And so they've isolated themselves and they're not speaking at the moment. But they are about to come forward with some kind of truth. Tell me more about yourself. You know, this is about shining your light. I feel like you're doing that. I feel like you use your light wisely. You are a very benevolent, compassionate person and you use your light wisely. But I also do see that there's a potential for you to be wearing false masks. Like maybe you, you know, put on a smiling face for people, but underneath there's some sadness because underneath that mask there's somebody with tears okay so look look to that you know find out if there's something that maybe you're ignoring within yourself because it doesn't maybe feel the best and you know this person You know, this person hurt you. So let's say maybe you haven't really looked at that. Maybe you just wanted to get, you know, even or get mad and, and angry and you just haven't really faced those emotions. They could be something that underneath is still boiling up and it's like you, you've got to face that. Take the mask off, cry it out, face those emotions. Um, so it says depth of experience and healing. Teacher and mentor, share wisdom. Yes, share the wisdom. This one says breathe the sun. Be Get out in the sun. Go get some vitamin D. Presence, pineal activation, relax, let go. Get out in nature, get out in the sun. I feel like this is what maybe the invitation will be from your person to go out and go to the park, go to the springs, go to the water. Like I said, like, you know, here's your person, here's you. You guys are about to go out on an adventure of some sort. Maybe it's some kind of travel. Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. Spirit is telling you to enjoy what's about to come towards you, okay? Um... Let's find out more about what's going on in this connection. Mystery, magic, intrigue, suspense. You're entering unknown territory. Feminine. Your divine feminine, you're seeking. Your divine feminine, you. Seeking her twin or soulmate. Free will. It was the free will of this person to make the choice to be reckless with your heart. 
I feel like this person sees you as somebody that they would potentially marry if that's something that they want. Give me a second. A lot of cards. So I'll and then get up and grab them. Okay. So vibration spring it says energy and positivity raise your vibration to attract what you desire your love is blooming your answers arrive in spring i mean we're about to hit spring um the, raise your vibration is definitely for your person this is about them cleansing themselves really you know stepping into their into their own inner wisdom to heal from to heal from this to heal from it's like this this sadness of being uh, of being addicted the sadness of being attached and enslaved and you know like this person didn't want to act this way to behave this way towards you i mean yes it was their free wills they they chose to do this but I feel like deep down on a soul level, this person's love for you was very deep and, and they see you as this marriage partner or just they want to commit to you. They want to have some kind of um, committed relationship, whether it's a legal partnership or just kind of some marital bond or something like that. It's like they want this, but... <clears throat> You know, they've been in a low vibration, so maybe they've been controlled by their shadows, depression, pessimism, believing like, oh, this kind of stuff doesn't happen to me. But this person makes you feel like home, like you're at home. You, and they feel at home with you as well. Um, Tell me more. There's an awakening happening here. Realization, progress. Your twin is awakening to your connection. Um, whoever was on the run is... was potentially running from a, to a karmic. Maybe they were in a karmic situation. Maybe you were in a karmic situation. Tell me more about this person. See, this it says be at home and home. You guys feel at home with one another, but I think right now they've pulled away from it, pulled away from you, so they're not feeling that. They're not feeling at home right now in themselves. You gave them that comfort. Nine of materials, this person doesn't want to be single anymore this person wants a put to put an end to that cycle this per well they could be watching you from afar this this person betrayed your trust this person hurt you really badly they know that the end of this they know that this relationship was over because of what they did they put they know that like whatever they did was like the last straw that ended this relationship but from that death can also come growth right so this is about cycles ending this person is ready to end the cycle of death and the cycle of betrayal this person is 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 now ready to I feel be in some kind of committed relationship because they don't want to be alone anymore this is somebody who's not about to like like there's there, there's no more single life in this person like this person's done that and they're over that they're like ready for something new they are ready to experience love because this person has done the single life and all of that and it's like been there done that i'm ready to raise my vibration i'm ready to put this shadow energy of of the addictions and all this stuff to rest 
because I'm ready to grow. This is their free will to awaken. Their love is blooming for you. I feel like maybe in the spring you might receive an offer of love or commitment of marriage, of engagement, of let's move in together, let's date, let's commit, whatever, something like that. This person's watching you. Look at this. Marriage, commitment, long term, from the nine of pentacles to the ten. This is what this person wants. This person sees you as the one, the one that they would marry, the one that they would commit to, the one that they would spend long term with. This is building a le legacy, building a community together. This is marriage, solid foundations, the 1111 card. This is a celebration, right? Celebrating a marriage and engagement, moving in together, commitment, long-term solid foundations, partnerships. They, it's like they're investigating, they're watching you, I feel like, because they're investigating to see when, when they can step in and make this happen. Do I see, do I see, oh, the night of emotions. Well, yeah, so from the page of emotion, so the page of cups to the knight of cups, this person's coming in quite swiftly and um, they're, they wanna offer an invitation. An invitation of love. The world, there's unfinished business here. There's unfinished business here. The world is asking you to grow and expand. Awaken to this connection. It's like don't deny your feelings for this person because they may have hurt you in the past. I'm not saying to take back anybody that's toxic and still, you know, showing up in shitty behaviors, but... I feel like you can't let go of this person. I feel like you are waiting for the resurrection of this person because you can't let them go. You're holding on tightly to this connection. And um, Spirit is asking you to take a risk here. What What is the risk? The risk is to learn how to trust this person again. Right, because I mean, this person's gonna come in correct and to clear the air. Because there's some form of unfinished business here. Um, but look at that, oh my gosh. Make sure you are not making like making a contract with the devil this is aries um capricorn we keep seeing taurus scorpios on the table aquarius gemini taurus <clears throat> Yeah, very interesting here, okay? Um, make sure you're not making a deal with the devil, okay? But it also is kind of saying like, hmm. On this, on this journey, when you take this leap of faith, you might be faced with the devil. You might be faced with, toxicity you might be faced with toxic people you might be faced with negative thoughts maybe you're going to be faced with desires temptations this hierophant is telling you stick to your spiritual knowing you know better this is your higher self this is your lower self take the risk and leap be your higher self. This is where you will be victorious. 
okay so when temptation something may come in that's going to tempt you and it might be this past person coming back in with this energy and if they're coming back in with some energy of non-committal bullshit that could you know there could be a temptation there to jump back into this connection and you could potentially get hurt again. So it's like, yes, take the risk, but stay in your higher self. Know when you're dealing with the devil and don't make any deals with the devil. Moving on. Um, yeah, I, I think that's it, you guys. We'll do one last card here. Don't make any deals with the devil. There's about to be growth and expansion here in this connection. There's unfinished business, so there's about to be a conversation. The answers you need are coming. There's about to be a conversation. Communication is coming. Um, there's going to be an opportunity for you to travel, go on an adventure. This person's going to invite you to go on an adventure, potentially somewhere outside, spring in the spring, in the mountains. Um, something may be blossoming. There may be something coming together in the spring. This person might offer you a commitment or an engagement of some sort. Just check in with God before you make any decisions, okay? Yes, God is the divine creator is resurrecting something very special here. But just, you know, you might be tempted by the devil in disguise. So make sure that you're not making any deals with the devil and that the choice that you're making is you're, you're checking in with God before you make that decision, okay? All right, I'm going to leave it there. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and let me know if it did. Until next time, love and light.